happen. First responders have to be ready for anything. News Channel 9's Brandon Evans shows us how several agencies in Murray County got some real life training today without a real life emergency. Here in Eton, several first responders coming together today to do a mock training exercise to see how they would respond if a train carrying flammable materials hit a car trapping someone inside. First came the call, then came the crews. The scenario? Sheriff's deputies, police, and firefighters learned two people in the car are hurt and the derailed train spilled ethanol along the tracks. Although there was no train and no real victims to treat, Murray County Fire Captain C.L. Young says these training exercises could someday be the difference between life and death. This is the first time we've ever done this in our county, and we're hoping to take away from this and gain knowledge on what we would do in a real situation. Murray County school officials evacuated a nearby school practice with a hint of reality. We had never had a drill where we had had a school evacuated and um, so that was something that we had been wanting to do but we felt like it was sort of a, another uh, layer to our safety and something that we needed to be prepared for. Tyler Long lives near the tracks. He says he was impressed with how organized the whole operation looked. To correlate with different departments is like always a good thing because like communication is key. Once the reports are in on today's practice response, the departments will meet again to talk about what they did well and what they can do better next time. I'm Brennan Evans, News Channel 9. Murray County fire officials say they chose this scenario because CSX does haul cars full of ethanol in and out of the city every 